What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. Today's video comes by special request by one of our viewers. And the one asks, can you make a video on the pros and cons of mounting things to your calf such as knives and shears? And we'll be happy to make this video here for you. This is a great topic. I'd like to see a lot of discussion down in the comment sections below on your opinions in the matter as far as whether or not divers should or should not be mounting things to their legs. So before we get started though, let's look at several different diver tools such as knives and shears that we may come across and decide where or not or whether or not we should be mounting these to our legs and then we'll kind of go over the pros and cons to it. So the first one I've got here, this was the first dive knife I ever got. This was back from the 1980s. Uh, my father gave me this knife. It was very large. It's the Rambo style knife here. Um, you got the big old bulky blade on it. It's got kind of a saw edge on the back and then a straight edge with a serrated on the front. Um, very heavy, very durable knife. The problem was it wasn't very sharp and it was very difficult to get this knife sharp and to keep it sharp. The coolest thing about it though, it had the little pommel piece here that was steel. You could actually bang on your tank. It was kind of an early day tank banger, if you will. Um, so it looked really cool, but it wasn't very practical for what I needed it for. But it did come in this nice little sheath here had leg straps and it was a protective sheath too so when you did go to reholster it you didn't run the risk of actually cutting yourself or anything like that because it was a hard rubber top sheath that was very difficult to cut through so that's one of the old style knives uh, we actually have a modern day version of that knife as well and this is by a company called XS Scuba. This is their fog cutter knife. This one actually comes in two different styles. This is the larger size. They also have a compact version as well. Now the cool thing about this, it does have a hard sheath to it. So when you're reholstering the knife, it clicks in. You're not going to cut yourself or anything like that. Um, and it's got a big open blade on it, meaning it, there's a, a straight blade on one side, serrated blade on the other side. It also has the metal piece on the back that you can use for a tank banger, maybe to get your buddy's attention or something. But the really cool thing is it's got a little switch here at the bottom. You open the switch and the shears or the knife opens up into a set of shears. So now not only do you have a cutting tool, you also have some type of shears to cut with as well. Maybe you're cutting fishing line or something like that and you don't want to have to swap at it or whatnot to actually cut it. You can cut it with the shears itself. So closing that back up, we'll resheath it. It too just come with the leg straps. You can mount it on your leg or anything like that. Moving on down, we have the smaller compact style knives. This one here is from Scuba Max. There's several different ways um, to mount this guy. Uh, of course, it comes with the leg straps as well, but it also comes with this little um, plastic piece here that's got screws in it. You can actually mount this to your BCD, and there's several other knives that you can mount to your BCD like that, uh, but it's small, compact. It's, just a little knife here. This is actually my pumpkin carving knife. This is what I use. If you saw our underwater pumpkin carving video, this is what I use when I do underwater pumpkin carving. Um, but it's very, very small. They're very inexpensive. You can pick you up several of these for spares. Uh, got a nice rubberized grip. I really like this knife. I like the fact that it's compact and you can mount it pretty much anywhere. You don't necessarily have to mount it on your um, leg or anything like that. Some people actually mount it on their arms, but you can mount it to your BC. You can put it on a shoulder strap or corrugated hose or anything like that. So that's a nice little compact knife. Um, even more so, this is a very basic knife. This is what a lot of tech divers or the DIR community will wear. It's just a basic um, sheath here. Actually, this sheath is actually made out of webbing itself, and it's got a cut down, if you will, steak knife. It's very, very inexpensive. It's a very durable knife. Um, it does have a serrated edge. It's going to make it good for cutting rope and stuff like that when you're underwater, but it but it's blunt tipped on the end, so it's not going to hurt you when you go to resheath it wherever you decide to mount it. Now, typically, these are mounted to your waist belt, and there's several different ways to do that, um, but very, very simple design, a great knife, something to consider if you're looking at a new dive knife. And of course, one of my favorites, and basically what I use a lot, is the shears themselves. And this is just a set of titanium EMT shears. Uh, there's several different ways to mount this knife as well. It comes, most of them will come with their own sheath as well. Um, you can get them in stainless steel, you can get them in aluminum, and of course you can get them in titanium like these are here. Uh, this particular sheath has a little clip here that you can just clip off to, but you can mount these to a hose, to a leg, to an arm or something like that. But this is just another type of diver tool or cutting tool that can possibly be used. But now getting back to the question that our viewer asked, he wants to know the pros and cons to mounting knives and tools to your legs. And there's several reasons that a diver may choose to mount to the leg, but we really need to break it down. Is it good or bad to do that? So I'm going to start with the, the larger style knife here. Um, 
Obviously, this is a large knife. It's not going to be very practical to put it on your arm. It's going to be very difficult to put it on a waist strap or something like that. Um, and it does come with the leg strap, so that's really where it's designed to be used. So let's take a quick look at the pros and cons of this particular knife being mounted to your leg. So first of all, with it being large, the first thing is, of course, real estate. You know, I've got a lot of room on my legs. You know, that's that's where this is designed to go. So there is a lot of real estate to, to mount the knife to, if you will, or to strap it to my leg. Um, on my BC, I don't have much room. If you wear a back plate and wing, you just basically got webbing. There's not, there's not much there. Uh, you can put it in a pocket if your BC has pockets. However, you're just not going to be able to get to it um, efficiently because it's so big, you're not going to be able to put anything else in your pockets. So really, the real estate purpose is, is the best reason to mount this to your leg. However, we want to talk about accessibility as well, and this is kind of a con. Being able to get to the knife with either hand during an emergency, um, or if you just need the knife for whatever reason to work on something, you may not be able to assess it with both hands, whether you put it on the inside or the outside part of your leg. So one con that we got here is accessibility. If it's on the outside of my right leg, I'm gonna have to reach across, and if you're like me, you got a gut on you, you may not be able to reach all the way down and, and get to your knife. So accessibility is kind of a con there. Another pro, of course, is redundancy. If you carry multiple tools, maybe uh, this is not your primary knife, maybe it's a backup knife. So if you got a primary mounted somewhere else and, and this is your backup for whatever reason, maybe you're not just using it as a cutting tool, maybe you're using it as a tank banger, maybe, maybe you're using it as some type of wrench or some. who knows what reason. If it's a redundant system, then yeah, mounting it somewhere where it's kind of out of the way, it doesn't... Um, get in the way of your BC, your inflator, or anything like that, then this is a good place to put it is of course down on your leg itself. Another con though is entanglement. And like I said, back in the eighties when I had mine, I had of course this big bulky one here. I wore it on the outside of my leg. And it took me a while to learn to switch it over to the inside part of my leg. And that what that done is that prevented that entanglement because I, I wasn't getting caught in fishing line or anything like that because the knife was on the inside of my leg. If I brushed up against something, it wasn't unclipping, coming undone or anything like that because it was on the inside. Once again though, accessibility, it, it changed the accessibility. I could reach it with my right hand or my left hand because it was on the inside. It was a little bit easier to get to though. But entanglement, it did create that entanglement on the outside part of my leg. Another pro, guys, it's appearance. It really is. If you want to look like a Navy SEAL, put it on the outside of your leg. Um, I think a lot of times in the 80s and even into the early 90s, we did it just for appearance. I know a lot of new divers, when they buy these big bulky knives, that, that's the first picture that goes in their mind. You're not a diver unless you got a dive watch and a big dive knife on your leg. So a lot of times, appearance, if you want that appearance, guys, by all means, get you a big knife and throw it on your leg. So that's kind of a pro there. If, if that's the appearance you're going for, then by all means, get a big knife mounted on your leg. Another con, of course, a weight belt catch. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, one of the problems I come to find out in the 80s and early 90s was, is in the event I ever had to ditch my weight belt, if this was on the outside of my leg, as I removed my weight belt, it would actually catch on that knife. Because even though this was tied against my leg, the top of it was actually, imagine my hands, my leg, it created a little catch there. And as my weight belt fell off, because I, I wore weights in the front and the back of the weight belt, that weight belt would actually catch. So once again, it's kind of an entanglement area there. And if it's an emergency and I had to ditch my weights, I couldn't technically ditch them because they got stuck on the knife itself. So putting it on the inside kind of prevented that as well. But guys, that's just a few pros and cons here of why you should or should not mount a knife on your leg. Me personally, I'll go ahead and tell you, I primarily today only use the EMT shears uh, and you'll see that most of the time I mount them straight to my inflator hose. Now I do use when I'm in a side mount configuration, I do use just a basic old steak knife and I wear it there on my hip. Some of the pros and cons real quick on these two. The reason I mount here is because I can get to it with either hand. It is out of the way. It does not affect any other piece of equipment. Uh, it's not really an entanglement in no way, shape, or form. Uh, and same thing with this on my waistband. 
in a side mount situation. This is the particular one I use. Uh, it's out of the way. It doesn't get entangled or anything, and I can assess it. I've got easy accessibility with it with either my right or left hand, which I really like. So guys, these are my personal choices of what I use nowadays, but whatever you use, let me know down in the comment section below what type of diver's tool do you use, knife, shears, or whatnot, and let me know where you mount it. I'd really like to know from you guys. But the one, I hope that answered your question as far as the pros and cons of mounting items to your leg, whether it's a knife, a set of shears, or whatnot. But I really appreciate you watching this video. If you got any comments, concerns, please put them down in the comment section below. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.